Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my Hollow Knight Let's Play. In today's episode, uh, I honestly have no idea what we're doing. Um, <laughs> I will start with some minor housekeeping though, so uh, please watch the bottom left corner for a timestamp to skip right, right past that. It might be slightly, slightly more housekeeping than usual because it's been almost a month since I last recorded an episode. Uh, the last episode previous episode was recorded on the 17th of November and it is now the 7th of December already so it's been quite some time and a lot has happened and uh, and it's been uh, quite quite a time for me which is why I just took a break for a bit um, so just to quickly cover what's been happening directly with the series um, you'll see 15 minutes from now you'll see on my channel that I release a video, I think it's 98.5 episode number, episode number 98.5, where um, I went and farmed a bunch of geo. I just ran in a circle over and over, just outside the King Station, and just farmed, I think, I think like 25,000 geo or something like that, so that I could quickly buy out Divine. Um, and so that is what I did. But now what happened is the episode immediately after that, um, I I bought our divine, like I said, and because I bought our divine, I went and I bought our uh, auntie as well. Um, but then the recording of that episode went bad. I had a bit of a uh, personal issue. I'd been under a lot of stress at that point. Um, shortly after I bought our auntie, I went to go fight the final the final flame carriers. Uh, I kept dying over and over. I got super frustrated. I left, and uh, I just haven't been back in almost a month. Um, because of personal issues and I'm, I might share some of that with you guys moving forward into the episode um, But so because that episode went bad uh, the recording went bad um, I now don't have an episode for that. So what I'm gonna do instead right now right at this very second I'm just gonna overlay the key moments. I've I compiled all the key moments into a sil silent uh, Time-lapse video so that you guys can at least see how that happened and how that went down um, and I will play that over the current recording like in just a second, um, just note at the bottom left corner there will be a timestamp in case you want to skip that also. Um, and then I wanted to let you also know when you watch this video now, or when you watch this 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 clip, what essentially happens is I start by going to Divine, buying her out. Then I go to Auntie and I buy her out. Um, and then I, like, I just show a bunch of deaths that I had to those final flame carriers, uh, Grim True people. Um, just so that everyone is clear on how many times I've died since since you last saw me on screen um, And that's what you'll see in the video. So yeah, this is me quickly rolling the video. Enjoy Okay, so I take it you're back. I'm glad to hear it. Glad you stuck around. I'm not sure I'm gonna present the timestamps. I just gave that a thought. I'm not sure, like, because I've got an initial timestamp to skip the old housekeeping, and then I've got a, another timestamp to just skip the uh, overlaid video. But I don't know. I'll, I'll see how I do that and everything. I suppose I don't need to get up and hung up on that. Okay, so let's get started with today's episode. I want to show you we are currently in the hive. We are down here. And the next flame is up here. That is the last thing that we were busy doing is we were collecting the final flames uh, so that we could take it back to the to the troop leader Grim and see what's in store for us next. So uh, I'm gonna just get straight into that. I see no reason that we need to stick around down here forever um, when we can basically just get crack like And now I found that they are com the these final. Um, these final flame bearers 
I, I forget what you call them exactly, are much, much tougher than the previous tier. Um, and I didn't expect that when I fought them the previous time, which contributed to me just uh, pulling a rage quit and leaving. Um, <laughs> but so I might just focus hard and get it done instead of f overly focusing on uh, commentary when I face the guy now. But yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. It, I just, it just occurred to me that I don't remember what exactly charms we were rocking the last time. Okay, I just wanted to quickly get in on that and just see what we were like trying to do. Um, and it seems that we were in fact trying to do a, a spell build, a distance build, uh, probably Vengeful Spirit and um, all of those spells related. Uh, I think let me try to rock that one more time before I go back to something that makes more sense in my head Which is you know my, my everyday carry my uh, Well, what, what, what will you call my everyday carry? It's it's an L build. You know, it's it's range focused. It's quick attack focused. It's uh, Lots of damage focused It's pure and pure an L build um, so we'll, we'll go back to that once we've Determined to our satisfaction that a that a spell build is not worth doing the thing. <laughs> so to quickly catch you guys up on uh, what's been happening in my life. Uh, holy goodness gracious! Okay, okay, okay. Big fella, just relax for me for a second. That was painful, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so at the time of me quickly just taking this sabbatical, if you will, could you not? Let's let's call it a sabbatical. Um, <laughs> I was under quite a bit of stress. My my job uh, requirements rose dramatically. I also was informed that uh, in terms of my future employment, it wasn't looking good. Uh, reasons irrelevant. Um, but basically, that caused me quite a bit of stress. And then also at the time, for some reason, I started stressing myself out with my channel. You know, this thing that I do for fun, this thing that is purely a hobby. I started getting into this habit of uh, just recording so many sessions and being responsible for for editing and uploading insane amounts of uh, episodes. Like, the, my f last recording session, well, one of my last recording sessions, I did 14 episodes in a single week. Dude, that's insane. That's... Two weeks worth of were two weeks worth of episodes in a single week, um, and so I just stressed myself out completely with that. So yeah, I was heading towards a breaking point, a boiling point, and uh, this final fl flame barrier, this one that we're going to fight right now, happened to be it, and I just I quit out, and I haven't been back since. And uh, I've tried to come back a bunch of times, but I just my heart wasn't in it, and uh, but now I finally feel like I am back and I'm ready. So, yeah, this guy gave me tremendous amounts of trouble. He's got these flame, flame pillars that that just messed me up. And he does two... Look, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's not the flame pillars. That... Uh, was that the flame pillars? That wasn't the flame pillars either. That's the flame pillars. He also whacks for two every time. Which is... Uh, which is painful. Don't know if we're gonna be able to beat him. Ah, oh, crap sakes! Uh, but we'll see what happens. Here we go, here we go. Flame pillars, flame pillars, flame pillars. Ouch. I walked into that one. Ah, the pain. Now, do I go fight him? Do I go fight him, or do I try to heal up? Yeah, that's that's not my main my main question. Is this guy now back to full health? And we're dead. <laughs> so this is what I've been dealing with. This is what led to my final breaking point, where I was just like, nope. This isn't working. I'm done. Uh, but anyway, let's try to let's try to rock our original build again instead. 
Not that I quite remember what was happening with it. It was Quick Slash. It was Long Nail. It was Unbreakable Strength. Although now we're overchomped. Now we're gonna take four damage per per whack, which is not okay. Uh, Sharp Shadow. Let's let's rock Sharp Shadow for now. I think that should be viable. Ah yes, look at uh, the the aunt, auntie's charm. I you would have noticed it maybe in the video. I don't quite remember what I put in my overlay video. Um, but she now, uh, whenever we chill at a bench, she refills our our uh, uh, what do you call it? Our soul, which is which is really really cool. Could you get lost, you bottom feeders? Thank goodness, let me quickly try to get through this. I think... Let me commit right now to doing a time lapse. Where I quickly try to just take care of this nonsense. And then I will see you guys on the other side because... Um... I'm in such a good mood right now. I do not want to uh, help myself so early into the episode. <laughs> to see you guys there. Oh no, hold on. I forgot that I'm supposed to get my ghosty before challenging this guy. Thank goodness, I killed that guy. Technically, Flame Child killed, Grim killed him. But I'm, I'm taking full credit for him because I'm, I'm currently his babysitter and he's out there. So I'm taking full, full credit for that kill, thank you very much. I have zero shame about that. Um, <laughs> no shame in my game. That was a lot easier than I remember. I think if you're, if you're uh, in a good space and you're happy and you're ready to do the things, all of a sudden, stuff gets a lot easier in this game. <laughs> Surprisingly, it, I, I'm, I'm surprised to, uh, to have to say this. <laughs> but in any case, let's move on to the next guy. Why don't we? Uh, where were we? Let's see. We are in the hive. Next guy is here, so we can take a tram right over and immediately fight him. Where was the lot other guy? Next guy was in the or or <laughs> fungal core so he's a little bit farther i'd say we go fight the guy in the abyss let's let's do that i think that's going to be our best bet uh to get there up right up left then more left and then up right i'd say that sounds good wouldn't you say okay oh, i was looking behind me instead of uh, in front of me. <laughs> and that's that's what done me in right there. Hey, that guy didn't immediately respawn, even though I was chilling on a bench. That's interesting. So there are cases in which... in There are cases where sitting on a bench does not respawn the guy. 
the, the enemies. I assume that is when you, when the bench you're sitting on is in a chamber containing enemies. That, that's the only thing that makes logical sense to me. I'm just gonna pass right by these people. I have no desire to hurt them. I actually quite, I, I actually quite, I actually think quite a bit of the inhabitants of the, uh, the hive clan. I'd say they are some of the uh, more impressive species that we find in Hollow Nest. More kept together, even though I've since learned that they have succumbed to the infection. I always thought, I always thought that uh, the hive was sealed off from the infection, and so they were fine. I've since found out um, that they have succumbed and they are all infected. And that is a big bummer. Um, yeah. Yeah, just had to mention that. Yes, on that note, I, I've i been watching so much Hollow Knight lore. Um, so I know pretty much everything that's going to happen moving forward. Um, but I think that opens opens opportunities for us. I'm, uh, I was so excited to find out that the White Lady is also the Queen. Like, I can't believe I didn't make that connection when I first uh, met her. Like, obviously, you know... She was with the worm, with the Pale King. Obviously, she's gonna be the queen, but for some reason, I just didn't make that connection. Um, but when I found out, I was like, "Holy crap! That's amazing! That's amazing!" But yeah, there were also a couple of other revelations that I've sent since out that I've since also even forgotten. Uh, but I'm sure they'll come up. Anyway, let me fight this guy. Let me fight this guy. See you guys in a bit. Oh my goodness, I killed him! I killed him! I thought for sure I'd be dead there. I thought for sure I was not long for this world. I can't believe I managed it. Holy crap. Not to sound disappointed or anything, obviously. <laughs> I'm quite excited. Uh, okay, so let's head to the palace ground. Tag station. Take it over to the queen station. I hate this whole having to move around thing, but anyway, we'll we'll, we'll deal with it. Uh, hold on, let me just quickly see to get back there. Take a left, or down, or down. Take a right, and off we go. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds doable. Sounds very good. Um, yeah, man. Yes, it's been so long. I feel like there should be a million things that I that I need to catch you guys up on, and there is. But I think I've I've summarized them all so well that there's. With, unless I'm expanding on anything I've already said, there's not really anything new. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I'm back. I'll be honest. It's been so long. Uh, for a while, I started worrying that I might never come back. You know, even though I, I need to finish this game. You know, this way or that way. And I do love this hobby. You know, through and through. There's no denying it. It's just every time I try to make a comeback, I felt this great sense of uh, like, like unmotivation. <laughs> like I'm just not motivated. I just I would start up the game and I would start up OBS, and I would just sit there and I'd be like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, and then I would quit out, and that would be the end of that. So I'm very glad that I finally found the groove, refound my groove, that I'm back. Um, I saw, to my surprise, that we've already spent something like 41 hours on this game. 
that is an insane amount. Uh, I don't know how long people typically spend on this game, but I feel like I feel like I'm slower than most. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, with with no news of Silk Song coming out anytime soon, to my great disappointment. Um, I, I suppose we still have all the time in the world to finish, which is great. That's that's always good news. I was thinking. Don't you remember if I've mentioned this in a previous episode already? But I've already decided that... I've already decided that I will in fact not be doing um, Graveyard Keeper after this anymore. And so if anyone was excited about that, not that I think many people even know the game exists, but if anyone was excited about that, I do apologize for letting you down. Um, I've actually played a fair bit of Graveyard Keeper since I since I had my little sabbatical, um, <laughs> and uh, I noticed I realized that it is in fact not the sort of game that I'm looking to play on this channel at this point in time. It is even though it's a it seems to be fairly linear. You know, you start at one point and you end at another. Um, the actual process to finish is is quite grueling, um, <laughs> in the same way that. In the same way that one might say that Factorio is linear, you know, because you've got, you start with nothing and you're supposed to, your objective, officially anyway, is to launch a rocket. Um, and then you need to now just sandbox your way towards that objective. Yeah, Graveyard Keeper is similar. You start with nothing, your objective is to get back to the mortal realm. And uh, it is completely up to you how you want to do that. So uh, yeah, that being said, it's a little too open-ended for, for what I'm looking to do on my channel at this point. Where the hell am I going? What am I doing wrong? Damn it, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking without paying attention again. And that's uh, that's my problem. <laughs> As it's always been. At least some things never change, I suppose. <laughs> uh, anyway, so to, to end off with that, unless Talk Song gets announced anytime soon, um, which is starting to look unlikely. Uh, I will be playing Mark of the Ninja after this, which is a also a, a 2D platformer. Um, it is a slightly older, I think it's in a 2013 game, and it's a stealth game, surprisingly. It's an exceptional stealth game, as far as I'm concerned. I played it a very, very, very long time ago, um, probably around 2015. If I had to guess when I played it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about playing that game. I'm excited about playing that game. Dude, I'm so lost. I don't know where I'm going. I need help. Is it this way? I think it's this way. But now, am I on Mantis territory? I should you not, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I nearly just attacked this guy. <laughs> Even though uh, our tribes have made peace. The tribe of Hollow Knight and the tribe of the Mantises are at peace. I'm about to drop down into the Mantis tribe, if I go left here. No? 